Florida weather, why must you forsake me? Man, you gotta be kidding me. I <laughs> uh, just showed up at the beach and it is raining. Come on, man. So uh, I had plans actually of getting in the water today. That's why I have a little bit of a questionable setup here. I like to call this the old gig master setup. <laughs> so um, at the moment, I guess I'm not gonna get in the water right now because, well, I don't really know for sure, but I'm hopeful that this is gonna pass. Um, basically right above me, we got a bit of some gray clouds, but it seems like it's passing in the opposite direction. So I got a waterproof machine. There's no thunder or lightning at the very moment. So we're gonna try to make this thing work, man. <laughs> Middle detecting in a tropical storm, huh? <laughs> So I'm gonna drop my iron filter down just a little bit. Just gonna experiment with it just a tad. And then my stability, I'm gonna stay up at five. That's usually my go-to. So I guess let's see if we can find anything out here today, man. Obviously I have this large and in charge coil. I think this is like a 13 and a half inch or something. So let's check it out. We got our first target right here. It's gonna be a 14 probably a little piece of some yes indeed we do <laughs> please man i haven't been detecting in like two or three days don't rain me out please here's just a slightly different one i can actually see this thing sticking out of the surface or sticking out of the ground but just kind of wanted to show you the tone on it ultra ultra bouncy ultra funky definitely did not sound like a desirable target but <laughs> here it is right here man Metal detecting in a tropical storm? Oh, please. <laughs> Just give it up, man. The rain is honestly coming down harder now. I'm not leaving, though. Screw that. So, I hope you guys are going to enjoy, enjoy a bit of a rainy day session here. This one's a 26. Sounds really good. The only thing I'm worried about is, like, my, um, dang it. My freaking camera getting um, soaked. <laughs> I've had issues before with my GoPro in the past. I've taken it in the water and actually I've like lost some features. I lost like the sound. These GoPro 7s are supposed to be waterproof, but come on, man. Just give it up. I know this rain has got to let up here in a minute, so. I don't know if I should just sit in the car for a minute or just <laughs> screw it, I guess, right? We're already out here halfway soaked. We may as well keep going. I might have a quarter, baby. Oh, no, apparently not. Here it is right here. All right, guys. Um, I think I'm going to maybe go sit in the car for a minute. What do you guys think? There's still no thunder or lightning though. So let's just keep going, screw it. I'm getting absolutely soaked and I don't know if you guys can hear this at all, but. <laughs> oh, you trust me, I'm gonna make a video today. This rain is not gonna stop me. <laughs> it's trying, trust me. It's very much trying to stop me, but I'm not gonna allow it to stop me. Here's another potential gold signal. Gold, nickel, or pull tab. That's usually your three options with a 26. Let's see. There she is right on top. Man, I don't even think I found a nickel yet. <laughs> All right, so in the dry sand, I mean, I'm finding targets, but it's a little bit slow. So now that it's done raining, what I'm going to do is we're going to head down to the wet sand, baby. We're about to head in the water for a little bit. I'm gonna see um, if this like flotation device, this pool noodle actually helps um, swinging in the water. Because before, I don't know if you guys ever metal detect in the water, the resistance that the water gives you is actually kind of, um, kind of a pain to deal with if you plan on being in the water for a long time. So, ah, feeling nice in here, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. So for this to actually work, my detector is going to have to be at least submerged up to the, uh, the flotation device there. So let's give it a go, huh? We got to zip up our pouch, otherwise all of our aluminum foil and junk will come floating out. <laughs> That's happened to me in the past. Alright, so far, honestly, I think this actually is helping. 
it feels not as hard to swing in the water now. But what I still need to work on for in the water is I need to get me a pair of waterproof headphones for this thing, man. Because as soon as the speaker goes under the water, you're not really able to hear the tones anymore. Um, if you guys didn't know, the Legend actually has what they call a vibrate feature. Which basically, when you swing over a target, will actually vibrate like in the handle of the machine. So that can definitely help a little bit, you know. But uh, for the small targets, I kind of, I think I'm maybe out of luck for those in the water without headphones. But I think if I swing over like a ring or a coin or something big, I'll probably be able to tell it's under there. So let's keep swinging around, see if we can get anything under here. All right, everybody. So this is actually my second target in the water. I had one before this that was an iron signal, but this one actually sounds kind of promising. So, pretty much just a solid 40 under the hole. Maybe a chinny? I don't really know, so let's check them out. First target gonna be recovered in the water, man. Let's hope we can even recover it, because sometimes I lose them. Is he in the scoop already? Oh, look at that. Okay, two for one, baby, look at that. This quite isn't uh, what we were looking for, black and mild. But check this out, definitely not what we expected here. Whoa, what's up with him? Oh, that's actually pretty cool, man. Okay. On the back, it's like kind of textured. And on the front, I think it's like a dragon design almost. Kind of looks like a half a heart or something. I don't know. It looks like maybe there was supposed to be a diamond or something in there at some point. <laughs> So that's pretty good, man, for, uh, I think that's our second recovered target in the water. We also got some nicotine gum. We got some bottle caps in our pouch. So definitely a pretty good start to the water hunt, baby. Let's stick in here. But the thing about the water is, uh, if you guys don't metal detect, sometimes it's a little bit harder to recover the target out of the water. But also, in a lot of cases, uh, there's just not as many targets in the water, definitely, as there would be in the dry sand, you know? So, sometimes you're just swinging for a little while. You just gotta stay optimistic, man. And eventually, usually, you swing over something. This one sounds pretty good again. 25. Sounding pretty dang solid. Still in the hole, apparently. Jeez. How many times, man? How many times are you gonna make me dig him? All right, and he's right on top. Look at that. <laughs> we'll just miss him by about a half an inch there. Another foil seal. Man. All right, I don't know if this is trash or what. Oh, it's not trash. Check this one out. Sounds way better now out of the hole though than it did in the hole. I always hate when I do that. Yeah, now this one sounds like identical to a freaking pull tab, 28. It sounded actually like iron in the hole. So there she is. <laughs> and I think I know why it sounded like iron because I see some rust on that bad boy right there. But that's a piece of jewelry, baby. One in the wet, one in the dry so far. So uh, I don't know if it's good to get back into the wet sand, I think, or into the water rather. I think I'm about ready to jump back in, man. It's getting pretty hot and humid out here. So, that one's pretty good, though. I think I'm going to stick in the uh, dry sand up here for a little bit longer, considering I did just hit a little piece of some jewelry. That might have been something that somebody skipped, though, because, like I said, in the hole, it wasn't sounding very good at all. So, let's keep going for a minute here up in the dry sand, then we'll head down to the wet. All right, it's been a little while since we got a high tone. Right here we got like a 45, 46. I might have multiple signals here. It sounds like there's one up in this thing. Let's try to get them both out, huh? Let's see what we got. Yep, I see that one. There's one of them right there. A little bit beat up, he's in 1972. And I think I got another one down here too. Yep, there she is right there. Double dime action, man. One's a little bit fresher than the other, but 
20 cents, baby. Let's scan back over this hole real quick too. Make sure that's all she was. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I just heard a little bit of some thunder. Let's see, maybe a couple more coins here or a bottle cap, let's see. Um, let's see, there's one right there. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's one of the, uh, I don't think it's necessarily a new penny. I think they're like the 2009 pennies. They have a different design on the back. So there's one of them, and then I think we got one other one over here, man. There's another coin. So that's what? That's 22 cent within a couple inches, man. 22 cent to add to the collection. Let's see, make sure that's all she was, too. Might have one or two more up here. Maybe a nickel. I've got a 28. Oh, that is another. That's another zinc penny, so there's got to be another one with it. Oh, yep. Right about there, man. So what is that? That's about a 30 cent coin spill right there, I'd like to say. 1974 nickel. Super shiny on him. Let's keep checking right here in this little nook. Definitely more coins than I've had out here today. <laughs> I mean, I got the assorted, you know, pennies and quarters, but they were pretty spread out. These ones seem like they're pretty close. Yep, I got more. There's more over here, guys. Another 46 right here. I always love digging up a coin spill. All right, 45 over there. 41 up here. Come here, you. I think there might at least be a couple over here. The thing about coin spills too is you never know what else could be hiding in there, you know? Is it just coins? Probably, but there's another modern day penny right there. We're gonna have to scan back over that, make sure that's all she was. And then over here, where was the other one over here? Um. <laughs> Where did it go? I thought I got it out. All right, time to swing back over that baby. Ooh, ah. I think we got one out over here. Yep, there she is. Holy moly, look at the color on that baby though. That is one black and dime, dude. I haven't seen one that color in a while. Black and green, baby. Is it silver? I don't think so. That would be epic if it was, but I highly doubt it. All right, let's keep trying here for a second. I think we got a couple more. Is there any more in this little patch? So that hole ain't got nothing. Maybe a piece of iron. Oh yeah, we got at least a couple more in here, man. Come on out of there. Hoyt. <laughs> Let's see, going with our pinpointer again. There's a lot of like roots right here too. Isn't it, it's not making it too easy on me. There's another one though. Another dime, man. So what is that, like at least 50 cents, huh? And let's see, is there one more? Is there one more? Uh, <laughs> I'm not hitting it with my pinpointer. So let's check it out with the detector. Nope, I think that's up. I think that's gonna be pretty much it. We got a faint one next to these, this patch, so we'll go for that one, and if it's something good, I'll show it to you. If not, on to the next signal. Guys, check this out. Man, sounds like some iron though again. What are you, you little guy? What the heck is that even? <laughs> that's some junk, huh? We'll take that though. Something, I guess. I don't know if that's supposed to be a tow ring or what the heck that thing's supposed to be, man. <laughs> Alrighty then. It's a benefit of digging up like the iffy signals though. Occasionally you will get something decent. And I really don't know if that's even supposed to be a ring or what the heck that thing's supposed to be. Freaking mini napkin holder or what. <laughs> it's not too bad though. I think I just showed you guys what it was reading up as. It's kind of like giving me an iron signal. 
when it was in the hole it was bouncing in and out of iron that's usually when I will dig an iron signal is like when it's it's bouncing from iron up into the non ferrous you know let's see this one kind of sounds like a pull sounds smaller actually smaller than a pull tab Oh, there she is. Not quite a pull tab. A little bit better, I suppose. It's a nickel right there, baby. So, that's good. Two decent ones in a row. It's been a little bit slow out here, up here in the dry, but, you know, we're getting it. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. What time is it? It's 9.52 a.m. So, I've been up here probably about an hour and 20 minutes now. All right, up here in an odd spot. Got a 1920 pretty much right on the surface. I see a mayo packet too. Dang it. What is that? That is some Pringle foil. What kind of foil we got over here? All kinds of foil right here, man. Look at this. Mayo. Ooh, that one's still got the mayo in it, man. We got the Kool-Aid singles and we got the Pringles. We got the Kool-Aid single and the Pringle baby. Woo! Hold up, we got the ketchup too, man. Rolled gold or red gold with a cause. Penny or a bottle cap, man? That's always the question. This one sounds a little bit better than a bottle cap, I think. Ah, oh, wait a second. That ain't a penny or a bottle cap, man. <laughs> Alrighty then, that's quite unfortunate for somebody. Found somebody's key, man. Defiant. It looks like it was freshly dropped too. So, ah, yeah, that's a shame for whoever lost that baby. But oh my goodness, the black clouds are coming in, everybody. The black clouds are coming. <laughs> Holy moly. Let me put you guys up. Ow, and the freaking flies. Son of a. They're like not regular flies either. They're like some type of a yellow fly or something. So couple more targets everybody let's try to get some treasure before we get flooded out man come on all right so i found one of these things last time i was out here but the thing was pink what about this one man it's like these things look like some type of um like selfie stick or something i think but i don't know the the top thing I don't know. It doesn't look like like nothing would attach into this top piece, you know? It extends out kind of like a selfie stick, but I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys a whole bunch for watching. Thanks for joining me on this little uh, quick beach session. I'm glad to have been able to at least get down here for a little bit. We did get, I think, two pieces of jewelry, I'm pretty sure. I think we got that earring and then that, like, pendant. The pendant was pretty cool, I gotta admit, so... If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do, man. Hook it up with a thumbs up for me, huh? For metal detecting out in a tropical storm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Last time, thank you guys for joining me. And uh, I plan to get out here again really soon. So if you guys want to see some more metal detecting, well, join me. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon.